Hi guys, it's Nika, and I should be talking about Wolfgang Munch in this episode, I guess. Yeah, I don't call it episodes, but they are technically episodes that I bring to you every single Monday. Yeah, I should be talking about Wolfgang Munch in today's Tony makeover, but I don't think I will. I should, and uh, he turned out great and everything, but I don't think I will talk about Wolfgang, because um, I think you can hear it in my voice. Uh, for you, it's been a week ago. For me, it was just last night. I want to talk about the disappointment that was this year's Eurovision. Well, the contest was okay. The contestants, the people who got into the final, I loved them. It was so amazing. But the win was so disappointing. Why did Sweden win over freaking Finland? Finland sent in a banger, it was funny, it was original, the guy had so much energy on the stage, I just, I loved him so much, and then fucking boring Sweden wins. <laughs> to clarify, I think Sweden was good, I kind of did like Sweden's song, I think Lorraine is an amazing singer, but it's not something I want to see in Eurovision, my favorite entries in Eurovision are always those that are like creative and crazy or entries that draw inspiration from their country's folklore, entries that are not in frack fracking English, fracking, okay, songs that are not in freaking English, and Sweden fucking wins with a basic radio-friendly song like that. And considering next year is like ABBA anniversary, 50 years since ABBA won and ABBA is Swedish, making it Sweden, like making Sweden hosted 50 years after ABBA won. That seems a bit sus, that seems a bit strict. And um, I mean, I'm not sure if it was, but it seems sus at least. I am so upset. And like I said, this has been such a great Eurovision. So many great songs. I don't think I had this much fun with Eurovision ever. And I don't think any of the previous years have been this fun. And it's just, it ends on such a bad note, but to be absolutely honest, the public vote was a mess as well. The only thing I agree with is Finland. Finland came first in public vote, as he fucking should. But the rest, like Croatia got dropped. Croatia was such a fun song and I feel like it was such a treat for all Slavic listeners. <laughs> because Slavic languages are so similar that when you catch something that you understand, it's like yeah, it's a treat, and the lyrics were truly, like, they were so funny and, and everything, and just overall Croatia was a delight to see, and uh, yeah, truly the Eurovision spirit. Um, Slovenia, where the fuck was Slovenia? Slovenia was so raw. What else? Um, Austria should have done so much better. Germany, for once, Germany sends a good song, and what? They came last? Yeah, they came last, and... UK was second to last and uh, no, I do not agree with that. First off, UK should have gotten zero points for tradition and uh, Germany should have done so much better. Listen, Germany often sucks in Eurovision, okay? I think that's something we all know. But for once they send in a good entry and they get so robbed. <laughs> This is making me feel the same way France made me feel last year. Last year, France sent such a good song. And it was like, well, it because when France sends, a, sends an entry, it is always so French and so like Paris and um, we, we Baguette and Eiffel Tower. And you know, it's just so painfully French. Exactly what you would expect from France. But last year they sent such an interesting entry and they got so fucking robbed. And I listened to that song daily and I think it's such a good song and they got so robbed. So that's what reminds me of this year's Germany because Germany sent such an interesting, such a great song, something completely different from what they usually do. And they just, they came last. No, they did not deserve to be on, in the last place. I'm sorry. And as for my country, we also fucking deserved better. We did not deserve to win. No, I don't think that. But we deserved so much better. But at least we got our first ever 12 points from the juries. That's the only good thing. Um, 
But other than that, fuck the juries, we don't need the juries. We have progressed past the need for juries. And uh, look at it, how long I've been recording. I should probably cut my rant here and I should just go. So I hope you liked my makeover of Volkang Munch. I keep wanting to say Volkang Ember. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you all next time. Bye everyone. I love you guys. I love you more than Sweden's entry. I love you. Bye everyone. <laughs>